doing a privacy change for 350 million users yeah. is, is a really, you know, it's, it's not, a, Paint, not the type painful, of thing yeah. that a lot of companies would do. We decided that these would be the social norms now, and we, we just went for it. Google is effectively a $500 a year service because that's the value of the data that you're providing. If they use 10% of that data, they're going to be the most valuable company ever. Companies that you've never heard of claim to have about 1,500 points of data on the average American citizen. Is it hard to go through it and actually find specific details about a person? No, that's super easy. Within a couple of minutes, you can figure out what people voted for, what psychological problems they have, what parties they've been to. They're saying it's because I agreed to the latest terms and conditions on iTunes. No one has read the terms and conditions. No one in the world. To the extent there have been contract decisions, they've held that these terms and conditions are valid. And what if your phone came with these long terms and conditions said, well, if you use the phone, the government can wiretap you? That would be insane. But that's the kind of world we're living in. Anything that's been digitized is not private. And that is terrifying. For the government to get information from a Google or a Facebook is a lot easier than the government doing it itself and putting a wiretap on our phones. You have to put these powers into somebody's hands. Like social networks in recent times. If you have something that you don't want anyone to know, maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. Well, that's always what scared me was, if there's some sort of automated system that just red flags you based on the search term. You can see that surveillance measures are being used to silence protests before they even happen. Boom, NYPD SWAT, bulletproof vests on, their guns drawn. I was like, are you being serious? Are you actually holding me because of a tweet? So we were locked away in Lewisham Police Station for 25 hours. All these powerful institutions, they're not subject to the same, the same invasions of privacy as uh, the rest of us are. So far, the population seems fine with it. Um, if they weren't, I, they know who to call.